I think David's a good player. Um, he's, he's shown it over and over. He's still very, uh, very young, and, and, and from a young age, I think he started playing when he was 19 or 18. He was, he was good from the beginning, and he knows what to do. So he's always a, a good competitor. As a pact, we matched really well. I didn't think we were that bad. Yeah. We didn't finish the tries and finish the opportunities we had and didn't use the opportunities. And I think mainly that's where it went wrong for us. Everybody can say, oh, we, we cheated or he cheated. But I think at the end of the day, he did really well. Um, he won the game for them, definitely. Um, he was really good at the breakdown, even if it was a cheat or not. Um, the scoreboard, Australia won. Are there subtle differences between the way the three of you play? How do you think about those comparisons? There is uh, similarities, but I think more uh, me and, and David than maybe Richie because he's a good fetcher as well, but I think he's a good all-round player. I think uh, like, like the way he leads, he's a, he's a good ball carrier, he's a good defender, he can slow ball down, um, he's, he's, his work rate is really well. And then me and David, I think we, we mainly focus playing more to the ball and maybe more slowing ball down and doing more, more stuff. Yeah, more specialists than doing that, where he's, he's more like all rounded. Would you say over the last couple of years you've kind of um, taken a step further now and developed uh, your own style? Yeah, well, like I said, I think that inspired me. Uh, at school is um, <coughs> George Smith and, and Phil, especially with the way they built, because we built quite similar. And then Skulk, just with the attitude and the, the way he does things, um, he's always the, the guy that puts up his hand when, when the games get tough. So I think that's the way he inspired me. You learn from them, and then from there on you get into it. And then there's always new stuff you try out, and you have to adapt to new stuff. Awesome. And especially with the laws that differ, <laughs> because over the last three or four years, the breakdown mm -hmm. rules and ruck rules have been really funny and changing. And then they're trying this. And that, and so it's always difficult. And again, with the rules changing now for the Super 15, so you're not allowed to go off your feet anymore. So that it's really it's a difficult it's, it's a difficult rule, especially for the referees. And at Springbok level, uh, we've spoken about Skulk. Why do you think you guys complement each other so well? Skulk is a very good all-round player. If you want him to be a fetcher, he can be a fetcher. If you want him to be a seven, he can be a game breaker. Or he can play eight even. For Skulk, he's more the guy that wants to play with the ball, ball carrier. He's not, he's not, he's not that player. keen yeah, on, on working to the ball. He can do it, but for, for us as a team, we also need him more to be distributor. And mm -hmm. like the, the role in the storm is he plays. He's a, he plays like a second flyer for them. I think Dion Stachman, we play basically the same game. And then you got your front row we lost now. But still, there's some of the other guys as well, like John Dysel. He's a good ball stealer, Dwayne Vermeel, and oh, you can name is a lot of good guys that can still steal ball, and I think in, in South Africa we have probably the most good loose forwards in the world, so there's a big range you can choose from, and a lot of guys that's pressuring each other uh, in the different positions like open side and, and blind side and eighth man, there's a lot of good players.